everybody. Welcome back to Heidi's Humble Home. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I thought I would take you along tonight. Uh, this is a nice fall dinner. You can really have it anytime, but uh, it's very simple. Not a lot of ingredients. Sounds like a weird combination, but it's actually really good. I did do a video on this, I want to say maybe last year. I'm not sure how many people saw it, but that's okay. We'll do it again. And in case you are new here, it'll be great for you to see. All it is is tortellinis sausage whatever kind you want i have i actually bought um some italian chicken sausage with cheese and garlic okay so it's just the tortellinis sausage you're going to add a little bit of garlic to that and some basil and butternut squash all right the water has come to a boil so i'm going to be throwing in the tortellini in a minute but let me show you um so here's my sausage um i actually made a slit down the middle i'm going to take the skin off there's our olive oil, the basil. We add some garlic uh, once this is all browned. And this is what I did. I bought a 12 ounce butternut squash, it's just frozen. I put it in the microwave and uh, we have tortellini, that's 16 ounces, which is a pound. That's it for all the ingredients. So let's get started, everybody. I just threw the tortellini in. We're gonna wait for that to come to a boil again and cook that. And then I'm gonna remove it from the stove that way there, you can um, watch me brown up the sausage, okay? So we'll get this out of the way once the tortellini is done. Okay, I did um, take the tortellini off the stove. It's in the sink. Uh, we drained that. I already started draining, <laughs> draining, browning some of the sausage. Okay, I will probably drain some of the oil. We don't want a lot of that. What I neglected to tell you is you have to save a half a cup of the pasta water, okay? And um, once this is all brown, we'll add a little bit of garlic. I'm feeling lazy, so we're just gonna use the minced garlic from the jar, add a little bit of basil, of course, add in our butternut squash, and that's it. Very budget friendly, not a lot of ingredients. And it sounds like a weird combo, I know, but it's actually really, really good. So I can hear Sophie, I think she already ate, so I'm not sure, you know, she thinks she's gonna have a ton of our supper over here but she's not getting anything you got your you had your supper already oh jeez anybody else's pet do that let me show you her let me turn the camera around so you can see her here we go ready sophie do you think you're going to be eating our supper you're not getting any of this no <laughs> Yep, that's what we deal with every night at supper time. All right, so I am gonna finish cooking that and drain it and I'll show you what's next. All right, I drained the sausage. We're gonna put it back in the pan. So at this point here, we're gonna add some of the pasta water. And don't forget the recipe will be linked. The garlic. I need a little utensil. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna put some in there. Got some minced garlic. Just sprinkle it around, you don't need to measure. And if you don't like garlic, then you don't add it, right? Mix that in a little bit before we put in our squash. When I first saw this recipe, I thought, oh, that sounds kind of weird. And me and my husband were like, oh, I don't know. It sounds a little different, but let's give it a try. And it's actually really, really good. All right, so put in the squash. Just dump that in. I'll bring you up a little bit closer once I put all this in. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that. All right, you can see. You don't need to see me, that's for sure. And I think while we are doing that stirring, let's put on a little bit of basil. So we added in our garlic, our basil, the pasta water. I think for now we can take this. I already I had strained the tortellini and put it back in a big pan because I had to strain the sausage in that one in the strainer. So, all right, now we're gonna mix everything in. And I think if it seems too dry, because if there's seems like a lot of tortellini. Seeing what the recipe had called for, but I put the recipe away. You can always add maybe some chicken broth. All right, that would add some nice flavor as well. Then I'll plate it for you. 
You can serve it with a nice salad, maybe some bread. Probably put some Parmesan cheese on top, right? I want to make sure that's all mixed in really well. Let's add a little more basil. It's from, it's not fresh. I don't have any more fresh on the side anymore, so we're just going to do that. There we go. And this really didn't take long. It's a great fall meal. Like I said, obviously you can have it any time, but to me it kind of screams fall. And that's what it looks like. So let's plate that up. I'm going to get my Parmesan cheese out for you guys. Hold on. All right, I'm going to plate this. You can see what it looks like. Oh my goodness gracious. Put some Parmesan cheese on there and I'll bring it up close so you can see. That's probably enough. And this is what it looks like, everybody. Let's see if you can see that nice and close. So that is the meal for tonight. It will be linked. And um, I hope you give it a try. It's a really, really good dinner. Um, and like I said, not a lot of ingredients. All right, guys, I hope to see you soon. See you later.